Here we go. Welcome back to Rollins Homestead. Here's part of the harvest. Recently, I think I've picked 14 watermelons. We've never did well with them before. So, but this year I did something a little different. Uh, we had actually didn't buy any seed. We bought the watermelon. And I had me some little limbs I had chipped up, chipper shredder, and I had uh, inoculated, well, not inoculated, but I had put, in the, put uh, Epsom salt, different things in there to enrich the, uh, to enrich the uh, chips. Anyhow, I noticed this year when we put our, our watermelon, our compost in that chips, that the, the uh, everything germinated it looked like. It just came up out of there and we had nice big clump of watermelon seeds when I buried in there. So I just took the whole clump with a shovel, I think, took it out to the garden and dug me a little hole and put it right down in there. And this is what it produced, some of what it produced. It took off and, and so what I look for, uh, finding a good ripe watermelon that you look where this vine connects onto the plant, onto to the vine, the stem. Directly across from the stem, say that was the stem, directly across from that you'll see a tendril, like a little thing like a vine, but it'll, it'll be curly. And when that tendril dries all the way up, turns brown, they, that's what they say the watermelon's ripe. Then I look under here and they, they say another thing you look for is a nice yellow belly, not white. This one probably could have went a little longer. It's kind of pale yellow, but a nice big fat yellow belly. This is, this is pale. So they say that's another thing you look for and you can kind of, you know, listen at it. But that, that top and stuff, I don't know if it really works. But anyhow, we cut one this morning. It was a bit pink. But it had a good, pretty good flavor. Um, so I don't know what to do with that. I'm still learning my way around watermelons because we've never had any success basically till this year with those things. So I'm pretty pleased. Uh, we'll know more as we cut into them and I still have plenty on the vines out there. Some nice big fat round ones. Uh, so hopefully, good thing about these things, if, even if they're bad, I have my little worm bins out there with my red wigglers under that tin. I have one here and one on the other side of the property. And those worms love watermelon rinds and watermelon. So it's not like I'm wasting anything if they don't amount to nothing. It's food for the worms. And they you need worms. Those castings are like about the best thing on the planet to put in your hole when you plant your plant. To, you put those worms, the red wigglers pro proliferate, so I just take some every now and then, throw them in my strawberry patch, and I get an abundance of them. They get in there and they work that soil and aerate and take nutrients down, bring nutrients up and take compost down. So there you are, cultivators, and I put a big old handful in the garden the other day. Well, more than a handful, but a, quite a few of them, so. I don't know if they'll live through the winter, so I'm, I'm trying to incorporate them into what I already have here. And if they don't, then I'll just start afresh next year. So that's kind of that for the watermelons and thankful to the Lord for providing. And did do a bunch of leaf mold this morning. Kind of pile of leaf mold over in the woods over there on my neighbor's property from last year. So I took my lawn back and sucked all that up and moved it over here. You can take a picture over here, honey. There's my lawn back. It's a DR done right. I really like that thing for crunching leaves and grass. So you'll see a red big pile of leaf mold behind it. That is really good fungal material. It's about, they say it's 50-50 bacteria and fungal. The plants love 50-50. So, Brought that up here. I'm gonna let that, I watered it down as I dumped it. I just kept adding water. I put my water hose on the pallet and just kept 
getting it good and wet. You want the stuff good and wet. And so that's working for me. And that'll make really good material to put around your plants next year. Um, so yeah, collecting a little water. Uh, got me a little pump. Stick down in that barrel and those trash cans and I water everything. Watered real good this morning because they said rain was coming. So I watered just about everything I could, just a couple hundred gallons probably I had here. So uh, thankful to the Lord, He gives the increase. So that's kind of what's going on right now. So I'll sign off for now. Um, have a good day. See ya.